Hey, here we go, bank off number five. So we've got bank off with 20 cent coins this time round. We've had four rounds with 50 cent coins, and this is the standings after four rounds. NAB with two wins, and ANZ with one win, Westpac with one win. Combank, unfortunately, no wins yet, but we've got 20 cent coins today. I've got the NAB, $10 worth of 20 cent coins. Combank, same amount. Let's check them out. Let's see who wins this round. So we'll start with the Commonwealth Bank, $10 worth of 20 cent coins. And we've got a few more coins to get through, given that um, there's less, it's a lesser denomination. So let's go. Oh, 2021, sort of a lower mintage. I'll put it aside, but yeah. All right, a New Zealand 20 cent coin. Okay, I like foreign coins. So that goes in the pile. Another 2021. Pretty common those 2021s. So, um, but we'll just see if it helps a deadlock. If there's a few that are a similar sort of amount um, that we need to break a deadlock. So let's go. Ooh, hoping for a 1971. Ooh, 1966. Let's check this one for a wavy baseline. Oh, geez, that would have knocked them out of the park if it was um, if it was a wavy baseline 20 cent coin. 14. Checking for a little uh, bubble of metal over there on that side of the coin, not over there. 2004, looking for a pointy, pointy A's, not pointy A's large head, unfortunately. Yeah, with $10 worth of coins, the bank off's gonna go for a little bit longer, so stay tuned, hang in there. 2008, it's looking for a wave gap, not a wave gap on that one. All right. Second wave of uh, coins out of the bag to be searched through. Let's check these ones. 2020. No, not a not one to be put aside. 2002, 2001. The um, Centenary Federation coins are good, good to have, but um, haven't found any of those so far in this little search. So we're still on Combank at the moment. Combank hasn't got any big sort of uh, valuable coins in this little round, but so far anyway, not as many things come up as as commonly as they might do on the 50 cent coins. This 1998's in good condition. 1998, just um, just in really nice condition. So that I'm giving that one, yeah, definitely a 2021, another 2021 there. All right, yeah, that was in. Nice. I like that. I like any coin in good condition, so a little win there for the Combank. Need a little pep-me-up. All right. A few coins to go for Combank. Taxation. Mm -mm. Uh, keep on going. Three coins. 2006. 1981. Let's check for that three and a half claw. Okay, we've got a claw, 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 and that claw is going pretty high I think there so not a three and a half claw let's have a look there a few 2021s got a, um, a foreign coin New Zealand coin and a really nice coin there so let's go over to the NAB let's check out they've got ten dollars worth here I had to open up a bag because there's the bags hold four dollars each so I had to get two dollars out separate to those bags all right so we've got a New Zealand 20 cent coin to match the New Zealand 20 cent coin. That's a 969 as in it's a little bit older. So that's pretty good. I like that. Um, I like the older coins. Here we go 2008 looking for a wave gap and oh geez, that's close to it. Sort of in under certain lights it does, but other lights it joins across and touches a platypus's head. That coin's been bumped on the edge there. So that's just post mint damage. Oh, okay, so a women's, international women's, um, 2011, a dollar to five dollars fifty. That's a coin to put in that pile for sure. Okay, onto the the bags. Four dollars worth of coins in each of the bags. Oh, 66. They're with the chance here of a wavy baseline. It's not, no, but uh, it's good to have one. It's good to have one. That opportunity. It's nice. 1981, we'll check for that um, three and a half claw. I'm seeing a bit more action than just half a claw, so keep on going. 
fairly close at this stage. Fairly close. So let's... Um, ooh, was that a 2008 right there? We'll check that one for the wave gap. Not a wave gap. So... 2010, checking that little bubble error across there above the claw. There's no bubble there. 2004, checking for a pointy A's on the Australia. Not on that one. Check for another three and a half claw. No, large claw on that left-hand side there. All right. On to the last bag for NAB. And let's see if I can open it up. There we go. Got it. Well done. And um, here we go. Yep, nothing there. Okay, 2009. Okay, 2010, check for that little bubble error. No, no bubble there. 2010, check for another bubble. Not on that one either. 81, check for a half claw. This could be a half claw. I'll try and get the right zoom in on it. No, that claw does go up pretty high, so not there either. But it's good to good to check it out. Seventy one. Oh, okay. Low mintage coin. Two to seventy dollars. These coins here. Lower mintage. Okay. Checking for the bubble over here. No bubble there. Twenty twenty one. Eighty-one. Ooh, geez, it might be hard to make this out. Yeah, just can't really make out enough detail. Unfortunately, we'll keep going. And sixty-seven. Okay, let's zoom out and let's see what we've got. We've got um, that's sort of like a tiebreaker. Two of the foreign coins. We've got a little pile of the twenty twenty-one coins here, and we've also got a 2021 over there for NAB. Then we've got a 71. That's a good low mintage coin to find. It's a good one to find. And also that Women's Day coin. Um, and this one here, I just like coins in good condition. So I'll just zoom in and sort of show you. But um, that's in nice condition. 1998. Mm, I do like that. But let's zoom out and let's just take a, take a look at this and make a value call. I'm going to go the Combank because that coin is really nice, really nice there. Combank, you're through to the final of Bankoff number 5, 20 cent coins.